You can turn potential enemies into friends with your influence and success insight. I'm Bob Berg. The following incident took place several years ago, and if I may, I'd like to share it with you. Turning into the parking lot of a local hotel and then turning into the parking space, I wasn't paying attention as I should have been. As a result, I nearly clipped a guy as he was getting out the driver's side of his car. Well, he was startled, he was scared, mainly he was ticked, and he shot me one of the nastiest looks I've ever seen. I'm not saying I blame him, and certainly not judging him. It was my fault, and different people handle different stimuli in different ways. He was angry. I mean, his face was really covered with pure ugly. And I knew at that point I had a choice. And the good news is we pretty much always have a choice. I could have reacted to his reaction, right? I could have given him a nasty look. What are you looking at? And he'd have said, watch where you're going. And I'd have said, you watch where you're going. And back and forth. And have you ever noticed those situations rarely turn out well? I mean, at best, it's upsetting. And at worst, seems like especially these days, it could be downright dangerous. You've heard of road rage? Perhaps this would be parking lot rage. I don't know. But I do know that, if at all possible, I don't want to have anything to do with a situation like that. And you probably don't either. Why would you? So instead of reacting, I responded. We'll talk about the difference between those two words, react and respond, in another video, but it's significant. I responded. What I did was to put up my hand in a friendly wave, I put a smile on, of apology on my face, and through the windshield simply went, sorry. And he immediately went, no problem. Now, as he went into the hotel, I'm fiddling around with the papers in my front seat. I then went into the hotel to find out where my meeting room was. As I'm walking to my meeting room, he's standing with a few people outside of what apparently was his meeting room. I hadn't expected to see him again, but as soon as I realized we were probably going to make eye contact, I prepared to say, hey, I'm really sorry, I should have been paying more attention. But before I could say a word, he said, hey, I'm really sorry, I should have been more careful getting out of my car. Now, you might see that as a good result, which it was. More importantly, though, it was also actually a very predictable result based on a number of factors. Let's look at what we're really talking about in the next video. With your influence and success insight, I'm Bob Berg. Make it a great day.